And it's a shocking day for the entertainment industry in Nigeria with news of the death of singer Olarunwaju Foshashi, better known as Sam Sultan. He died at 44 after suffering from angioimmunoblastic T cell lymphoma, a rare form of peripheral lymphoma. Tributes have been pouring in from everyday Nigerians and South Sultan's colleagues in the entertainment industry. Actor and filmmaker Ramsey Noah posted on Instagram, quote, words fail me, hard to believe you're gone too soon. Why do the good ones always die young? End of quote. And actor Richard Mofe Damijo also posted, quote, words would never be enough, my brother. Love you, man. End of quote. Other music managers, record label owners, actors, and musicians have been paying their tributes, including this post from foremost music entrepreneur and lawmaker Dio Adeneye, also known as uh, D1. Quote, just can't believe that you are gone because you did our production with us in April. Rest in power, my brother. End of quote. Good evening, Mr. Adeneye. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good, but a bit saddened. Um, and everybody should know why by now. Um, we suffered a great loss today. Yes, yeah, Sam Sultan, a very talented man, uh, humble, as many who knew him have described him. How closely did you work with him? Um, for those who don't remember, um, Mr. Molari Wajju, better known as Sam Sultan to most of us, um, was very close to us in the tennis music family. He, he was um, a member of the tennis music um, family, um, having released two albums on the tennis music label, um, several collaborations with some of our other artists. Um, as a matter of fact, we, we just did a, 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 a how do I say, um, a, a, a documentary which we just aired in April this year, which featured himself, Two Face, and Daddy Shoki, you know, produced by our studios, that's AWA. So he was a very close member of the family. We did a lot of calls together along with Two Face. Um, he was just, uh, and, and of course his brother, Baba D, was also a member of the Kenny's Music family. Um, it's a big, big, big loss, not just for us in the Kenny's Music family, but for Nigerians as a whole, this was just one young, talented songwriter, um, uh, just a philanthropist, um, philosopher, an actor. He was just multifaceted. He was just, um, and to, to, to be gone at 44, it, it's a very, very, very big loss, not just to the industry, but to Nigeria as a whole. Um, well, just, it's incidental because, um on the third of this month, that's eight days ago, his last message on um, Instagram was uh, celebrate me, I quote, celebrate me now, we are there alive. Um, a, a, a song by uh, Pato Rankin, which he posted that day, the third of July. And today, 11th, he's no more. H how did I hit you when, when you heard that he had died? Do you feel he was as celebrated as he should have been, considering how talented he was? You know, um, in my post I wrote, um, since the, the good ones always live early, the good ones die young. Um, just a few, not even quite up to a month ago, we lost um, um, one of the movers in the industry, um, <clears throat> Obama, uh, who worked very closely with David O. Um, earlier this year, um, we lost another artist. Last year, we lost numerous artists. I don't know what is what is going on, but um, he, Sam Sultan, in his 44 years on earth, contributed immensely, immensely to the Nigerian music industry. I mean, immensely. When I say immensely, in no small measure. Tell us more um, about so his contributions. People, Tell us more about his con uh, contributions, especially for young music lovers who may not know much about this man you're talking about, Sam Sultan. For, for, for those who are new, or those who don't know, uh, Sam Sultan was one of those who blazed the music trail, along with um, Style Plus. Uh, remember in songs like Jack Badan, Dances, Bud Mask. Uh, I mean, he had so many, Ajole Dabile, 
you know, the, the relevant thing about him is that his songs were not just entertaining, they were educational. Yeah. You know, he sang at Jolie Davile. When um, we had the proliferation of our young people trying to cross into Europe through Libya and through, you know, illegal means, and he kept, he sang the song to say, look, no matter where you go, don't forget your home. Don't forget, even if you succeed wherever you are, come back home at Jolie Davile, don't forget your home. You know, so his messages always reverberated. He always sang about positive things. You know, about math, teaching students how we used to do math and English in those days, how we were taught to do math and English and how classroom setting was. So he didn't just think about just any nonsense about drugs or, you know, alcohol. He sang songs that we could relate to, some songs that we could learn from. And as I said earlier, he was one of the early ones that helped to open what the young ones are now enjoying, the, the Davidos and the whiskeys. You know, I enjoy it now. It, it, because people like that, the Shoki, Sounds uh, of Tan, Babaji, Tony Tetrila, Idris Abdul Karim, Rugged Mam, I mean, and so many others, they opened the doors that these artists are now walking through to go collect the Grammy Award, to go collect the BET Award. If people like him had not blazed that trail, we wouldn't have the Nigerian music industry we have today. So we must celebrate him, we must give him kudos. Um, yes, he lived a very short life at 44, but he, will, he remains a very, very relevant part of the Nigerian music industry. Oh, Mr. Dayo Adeneye, music entrepreneur and uh, lawmaker, thank you so much for joining us to share your thoughts and thank experiences you. with the late San Sultan. He'll be greatly missed, no doubt. Thank you very much, Mithi. Lord grant him eternal rest. Amen. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.